this is the view I particularly like with this watch. You catch it when you're driving. For anyone who doubts AliExpress or just questions it, I've had this Bagani Design GMT for six months. I thought this was an opportune time to do a follow-up review, go through some of the features that I'm particularly drawn to and why it gets so much wrist time. So I did an unboxing back in November after the 1111 AliExpress sale. I'm not going to do that again. I will link to the video. Just a quick spec check. Uh, just a quick reminder. It is a 40mm width case, 20mm lug width, just over 13mm thick, 475 lug to lug. So it fits perfectly on the wrist and you do appreciate that more and more. That could be why it gets a lot, a lot of wrist time. Proportions are perfect. Six months seems to be a good opportunity to do an update on this watch, having lived with it for that time. I do get a lot of compliments on this watch. People don't seem to know what it is. They haven't seen it before. Oh, by the way, can you just, um, if you like these videos, can you just subscribe and like and share the videos? It takes a few seconds, it costs nothing, but it does help the channel, thanks. I do very much feel that Pagani Design have nailed it with this watch. It is its own thing, it doesn't, really look like anything else so unlike many of the homage chinese watches this is its own design i find it very legible the way it's laid out i think the red that they've used the actual shade of red is the best i could have imagined for this watch with all of the little cities the world cities around the ring there on the bezel The, be the bezel action itself is excellent. That's a lovely click to it. Not much back play at all. I mean, this is fairly new, but the quality is there, have no doubt. Another thoughtful feature is the design element of the outer ring that carries around the indices there. They didn't need to do that, but it just adds another visual element. Don't forget, this is the Seiko NH34 movement used in millions of watches worldwide. Seiko themselves. So this will be a rugged, long-lasting movement. The GMT movement that Seiko brought out a couple of years ago. And the Cyclops for the date. Love them or hate them? Because of my age, I'm really getting to appreciate those. And this one is perfectly positioned and magnifies the date just right. When you just glance down at it when you're driving, it looks perfect on the wrist, lovely proportions. And the light play across the lugs, the brushed, the lightly brushed lugs and bracelet, the way the light catches it and moves across, 
I'm just going to do that again. Look at the light. The light play across the lugs. Moving up and down there. Very, very well integrated. Just take my time with that. Isn't that lovely? Only a watch nerd would understand that. There are actually very, very few negatives. Assuming that this watch lasts five to ten years or longer, for the price, I would say unbeatable. And I would fully expect, having lived with it, that it will last 20, 30 years, just like any other old vintage watch from, say, Seiko or Citizen. They are the competitors, I would have said. And after all, it does have the same movement. One thing I would like to focus a little bit on with this watch that I've come to appreciate is actually the bracelet itself. This isn't an expensive watch. It didn't need an expensive bracelet. It probably isn't an expensive bracelet. But I can tell you one thing, it's been very, very well engineered. The First of all, the brushing on the bracelet itself. Look how it integrates with the case, the top of the lugs. It's perfect. Not only the brushing, but the, the engineering tolerances, the fit there between the bracelet and the lugs. There isn't a gap. It's amazingly machined, that. It's the same on the back. If you look how snugly the rear of the spring bar area fits into the lugs. Perfect. The clasp itself, as well as being signed, which is a lovely feature, also unbelievably has a diver's extension, which they didn't need to do. So you can get an extra three or four mil on a hot day if, if your wrist swells without adjusting anything. Screw links so the bracelet is very easy to adjust so the screw links there let's not forget that this watch didn't need to have but does have a screw down crown which gives it the added benefit of 100 meters of water resistance and the crown is somewhat protected by the lip crown guards there which are in fact the overall case shape is very reminiscent of a far more famous and very very expensive watch that I'm sure you are aware of So there you go, six months, Bagani Design, GMT, World Timer. If you like these videos, please do give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, I do have some playlists on my channel now. Seiko Binge List, Watch Collecting as a Hobby Playlist. So feel free just to binge to your heart's content on those, and I'll see you in the next one.